A new bill seeks to protect families of murder victims from being re-victimized. Lisa's law is one step closer to being passed and the law would update current state legislation and make an amendment to Alabama Constitution. Our Rebecca Petit explains. The murder victim Lisa Ann Milliken's family is getting help from attorney Troy King to make sure future families of murder victims have more control after their loved one is killed. We should deserve the right to protect them in death just as much as if they were here because they paid the ultimate price, didn't they? They paid the price of their life. Why should you get to profit off of that? Very often, brutal crimes become the subject of new films, books, and TV series. But do you ever stop to think about how the families of the victims feel having to relive the worst day of their lives? Lisa's already been murdered five times, once in life, and every time they've done a documentary. It's time to stop. It's time to end. We don't want any more. 35 years ago, Judith Neely was sentenced to death for the brutal murder of 13-year-old Lisa Ann Milliken. Lisa's law would fix the inability of current laws to protect the images and likeness of crime victims from being exploited. What drives all of this is the profit. TV stations don't make TV shows to lose money. People don't publish books to lose money. They believe that they can take the memory of Lisa Milliken, they can defame it, and they can make money. That should not be allowed. In 1999, Governor Fob James commuted murderer Judith Neely's sentence to life with no explanation. The second piece of legislation would eliminate a governor's ability to commute a death sentence without first hearing from the victim's family. Before the governor is able to commute a death sentence, he should have to give them notice, he should have to give them an opportunity to be heard, and he should not be allowed to commute a death sentence behind closed doors. The bill has been distributed among a number of North Alabama legislators. King expects to have sponsors very soon. Putting the Valley first, Rebecca Petit, WCDX News.